Guys, I am so excited for today's movie commentary because Cruella just came out on Disney Plus and I just cannot wait to watch it. So if y'all are ready, let's go. It's a hard knock life for us. I guess Easy Street would be better. It's easy Street, please be good. Easy Street, now I have Easy Street stuck in my head. What do you say to Cruella when she tries to get the better of you? Thank you for coming, but you may go now. I freaking love this already. I swear to God, this mom's not gonna make it in the movie, is she? Oh God. Her, Anita Darling. Yes! What a fabulous name. Anita's in 101 Dalmatians, I'm pretty sure. God, I should have probably rewatched 101 Dalmatians. I do not remember that. I don't think I have seen that since childhood. I have no recollection of 101 Dalmatians other than the fact there are 101 Dalmatians and they end up maybe possibly as a coat. I, that's all I remember. Actually, I think they best her, but I'm pretty sure Anita was the girl. So that is absolutely amazing that they're introducing her here. Oh, she's a rocker, hell yes. London, here we come. Oh, we don't really have a choice. You have no school, there's nothing to celebrate. I feel like she went through a school that was destined to beat out her creativity and did not lose her creative spark. I feel like that's something to celebrate, to be honest. Can we go here? Off Regent's Park. The way I would literally be in Regent's Park right now if there wasn't a pandemic. Like literally. You mind it for me? Really? Oh my god. Please don't let this mom die. Please don't let this mom die. Please don't let this mom die. Oh no. She got buddy and she got out of there. Come on girl, you got this. Run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, holy shit. It was my fault. No, I feel like that wasn't really your fault. That woman should have kept her dogs on the leash. That It's the woman who owns the Dalmatians' fault. It's it's not your fault. All you did was sneak into a party. I. That wasn't really your fault? Who brings three Dalmatians to a Rococo-inspired fashion show, though, really? Seems weird to me. Oh. In the trash. Oh, damn. Well, that was... An unfortunate story. Genius girl turns into stupid girl who gets her mother killed. All right, so what I'm seeing from this is we need some therapy. The fact that they filmed this movie in one of my favorite parts of London is killing me. Look at this. Her sneakers say kick them. My mom's dead. I skipped over the part where I killed her. You didn't kill her. There's lots more bad things coming, I promise. Oh, I love that transition. Happy birthday to you. They literally are a little found family here. Ah, Not now. Oh, he stepped on her? This is like killing me a little bit because yes, technically they lied about the acceptance, but literally what is, what is she doing? She's not even in the front. Like, what the heck? Oh. Oh girl, you got a banana on you. Girl, take the banana off your face. Oh my God. This guy's giving Adam Driver. My office. Now. No, 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 no. I don't know what's wrong. She's done everything you wanted her to do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk, walk all over, over you. you. That seems ominous in this setting. I'm trying to give these wretches a chance, but, um, breeding. <laughs> Need I. Mm, you can't say that in snort, but it, 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 it's coming across a little bit judgmental from someone who maybe shouldn't be judgy. <laughs> Oh, hell yes. Now this is where the magic happens. She fits in perfectly. She's wearing all black. Like, she knew what to wear. Hell yes, girl. Take a moment to revel in it. Oh, we're all reveling? It's a communal revel? Okay. So the Baroness steals other people's work and then says, well, they work for me, so technically I own their creations. Is that... that's what's happening here? That's annoying. Fabrics? You gave me red like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't deal with that. The way you could literally see her in her head being like, okay, so like people would call me Cruella. You know, maybe you should rein it in, but at the same time, she liked my work. She liked my work. I like to say that normal is the cruelest insult of them all. Normal is the cruelest insult of all. Hello, tattooing that to my brain. Honestly, inspirational. Oh my god, I'm living for the architecture in this movie though, like, oh, it's beautiful. I think you're 
She's amazing, talented, something quite good. I thought maybe if you tighten the silhouette. Oh, you thought, did you? No, she didn't think. She knew. She was trying to be polite here. Your necklace. Oh, no. Oh. Family heirloom. Funny story, actually. An employee once stole it. No, she did not. Slight tone delivery problem. <laughs> the way she was like, slight tone delivery problem. Oh, my God. She really did learn how to mask in society. Maybe she only had one person to take care of and she failed dismally. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> There's the conflict in the story, oh my god. The way life can change in a literal moment. My mother hadn't failed dismally, I had. Actually, the woman holding her dogs did, and since it was technically this woman's ball, I feel like she has more blame than you do. Her black and white ball, that's why we'll do it. It's our biggest job ever. And it's for a necklace. I feel like she's trading her whole career for a necklace right now. I've discovered she likes to throw women who offend her sensibilities out of her parties. Sad women. <laughs> women who carry poodles. She throws women who carry poodles out of the party, but uh, women with three Dalmatians she can't keep on a leash, she keeps her at the party. So Stella can't go to the ball. Cruella though. I know someone who Please. Can. How are you gonna get that hair dye out of your hair though? Gonna ruin someone's day. You mean the Baroness? Obviously, I mean the baroness. <laughs> this guy's out here like, we could just ruin the chef's day, you know? We could tell him that his souffle is a little bit flat or something. Oh god, the architecture of the chandeliers, the crown molding, I love it so much. Ah! I love this. I love this whole aesthetic, honestly. Oh, not the Dalmatian woman again. <laughs> All right. Miss Anita. Oh, they were your Dalmatians? So it definitely is her fault. No one is interested in what you write, my dear. Except you kind of are since you read her piece and made everyone revel in it, so... Oh my god. This is such an aesthetic. Oh my god. Now that's a vibe. And Anita recognized her. This doesn't have to be a scene. It really, really does. <laughs> oh, Cruella's out today. Obviously, you're weak. The first two of you to arrive are going to get very badly hurt. I love it. Manipulation tactics. I feel like Red Room could have used you as a teacher. <laughs> this guy's like, I hate my life. <laughs> they have rats that big, and I work here. <laughs> Take the necklace and run. Grab it off her neck and book it out of there. I'm intrigued. <laughs> and that never happens. Have you ever seen anyone so threatened before in your entire life? Please. She's panicking on the inside. Not Cruella, the Baroness. Such a rat. <laughs> oh, she grabbed the necklace. Yes. Same. <gasps> Solid. Now this is called party crashing. Oh no. There's no way this woman survives after killing her mom, but I hope maybe Cruella realizes that it wasn't her, because I feel like she's been blaming herself for so long. Um, I feel like it's those three dogs that are gonna die, and I don't think it's the dog's fault. I think it's the Baroness's fault. It's 100% the Baroness's fault. Oh no, oh no, this is gonna traumatize Buddy. I mean, I don't know. I feel like they just gave them party of the century right there. The Baroness killed my mother. Thank you, finally. I've been saying that since the beginning of this movie. It wasn't my fault. Thank you. We could have gotten there a lot faster if we had a therapist involved, but that's fine. You got there now. Well, I'd like to add one more. Revenge. Revenge. Oh, yes. We should lay low. I'm dying. Same. Honestly, that guy, he is probably the smartest person here. He's like, we should lay low, please. At least, you know, until the next scandal happens and then we make her our target. You know, let's not do it now. Not, nothing too hasty. Uh, yeah, Corella doesn't know low. Ooh. Okay, well, that was a bit too edgy for us. You're not gonna kill her, are you? <laughs> Him and me, we're on the same page. If I'm going to need to repeat myself a lot, this isn't going to work out. Okay, you don't need to copy the Baroness. Let's just be Estella. Not Cruella. Thank you for coming, but you may go now. So I want you to help me tell them who I am. Okay, well, let's not drag Anita's career down with you. If it opens with a narration of someone saying that necklace got them killed, in theory, 
in theory, they're probably not dead because they're narrating. So she probably just means Estella is the one who's dead. Like her old self is dead. That's what got her killed was the necklace. Otherwise, how would she be narrating? You know what I mean? But it's playing all work. And we leave Buddy because I feel like Buddy's got some trauma from the big dogs. Hi. I'd like to book an appointment. <laughs> Just to me, please. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. And you're reading about me. And you're in my shop. Besties. You in? Hell I yes, you. Trouble. Hell yes. This is a team right here. All right. The motorcycle scene. Now this is an entrance. Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. I just really hope the Baroness does not go after Anita. That's just my hope. Wow. Oh my god. Her emerging from trash after the scene at the beginning where she landed in the trash. Oh my god. That's a statement. She is like the epitome of do things out of spite, honestly. You'll need more than eyeliner, you plain little thing. You, what is up with all these people wanting something from Anita and insulting her? I hate it. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm not. You will. Fuck you. Leave Anita alone. They really turned them into like two henchmen. And you can tell that they like took animated henchmen and turned them into real life. And I kind of love how they've done it. I've done it again. You did none of it. Let's go make history. You stole her design. And then she sat there and beaded the whole thing overnight. You did nothing, ma'am. <laughs> Whether you have the killer instinct is the big question. Oh, don't use the word killer. <laughs> she may steal my creation. I mean, that's a very good idea, right? If you, uh, uh... Yeah, speak for yourself. You know, we've all had bad things happen to us. Me, him, you. But we've always been there for each other. That's all I'm asking. But to help Cruella? It's a nightmare. Cruella gets things done. Stella does not. He tried. He tried the effective communication angle. Oh god, I don't think you can rescue her from herself. Oh, oh my god. Are those moths? Did they eat the dresses? Oh my god. I mean, if you were gonna sabotage anybody, that was a brilliant play. And no one really got hurt. How did these people not get a job other than Thief? Like, they are so versatile in their skill set. Okay, the Dalmatian spots. Worrying. She killed my dogs and made a coat. Did she? Because I don't see any proof right yet. I see no proof. We should have oh. left her on that park bench. Buddy, no. Oh, this is so sad. She could have gone farther with them if she actually treated them like literal human beings. Long live the queen. Oh, fuck. I know you killed my mother. You're going to have to be more specific. How many mothers did you kill? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> the guts it takes to tell someone you're gonna kill them while you're the one tied up on a chair as gasoline is getting poured around you. I admire the spirit, honestly. And your dogs. Her dogs aren't dead yet, see? I'll tip off the press. I'd love them to know that you went out in the... Um... The blaze of glory. Blaze of glory. <laughs> This script is low-key predictable, but I love it anyways. Oh my god, oh no. Come on, buddy, you got this. Why am I alive? Because I dragged you out of the smoke and flames before they consumed you. <laughs> yes, but why? Because the Baroness truly is a shit boss. Oh no. The point I'm making is you are the rightful heir. What? Okay, so technically, Technically, it's the next day. And I know someone is going to comment and be like, oh my God, you left a movie in the middle. That must mean it's a bad movie. No, I am loving Cruella so far. It killed me to stop the movie and go. But in my family, when dinner is here, that means you stop everything you're doing and you, you eat with the family. And then dinner with the family turned into a walk, which turned into watching High School Musical, the musical, the series. And then all of a sudden, it was midnight, and in my defense, I did for a brief second sit down and attempt to film the rest of the movie at midnight. However, one look at my camera quality. What's happening here? I wish I had like, I don't know. I feel like 
other people know how to actually do lighting setups. <laughs> and I said, you know what? <laughs> it might be better if I wait until natural light in the morning. And now here we are, here we are the next day. Hopefully that's cool with you guys. But you know what? I also kind of feel like an outfit change very on brand for Corella. Anyways, if y'all are ready to finish these last 40 minutes of the movie, let's go. That psycho cannot be my mother. Well, I kind of hope she takes a long, hard look at herself and like, you know, switches some of her personality around so she's not as mean to the people in her life like the Baroness clearly is. I just want her to be able to keep her ambitious streak while also being respectful to the people in her life that love her. You know what I mean? And like, keep being her. You know, I'm not telling her to stop stealing motorcycles. I'm just saying, could she treat the guys who love her with a little bit of respect? Like, that would just make me feel better. Just, just a little bit. I am in love with the coloring of this movie. I get that it's black and white here, but like the slight purple, literally my life. That guy's gonna go to the police and he's gonna be like, hey, this woman with black and white hair completely stole my motorcycle. And they're gonna be like, yeah, but she's dead. So do we believe you? Not really. Born bad. And a little bit mad. It's such an iconic line though. Mustache. Much to avenge, revenge and destroy. <laughs> Did she hit like all the Avengers teams in one? The Avengers, the Revengers? Can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'm sure the Destroyers are out there. I mean, we got the Destroyer of Worlds, so that's hilarious. She's just gonna become all of them, just her. Oh man. Oh my God. Oh, Winky. None of y'all are lucky, sorry. Baroness is my birth mother. Oh God. They keep trying to escape and they keep getting pulled right back in. Oh, thank you for the crumpets and the crazy story. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love him. That is iconic. Everything that comes out of his mouth is iconic. Thank you for the crumpets and the crazy story. Good luck, peace out. I can't run. She'll find me, Jasper, you know she will. We have to stop her. I get where she's coming from though, because like, to be honest, she would never have peace again. Even if she dyed her hair again and went somewhere else, she'd still be afraid every single moment that they found her and they were gonna kill her. So I feel like going on the offensive might actually be a decent play. I just feel so bad for these guys. Like they're trying so hard to be their own characters and they're like, fine, we'll go back to the henchman role, fine. She used a family card. Yeah, she did. It's working. Yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> oh no. Found family, it just, just gets me every time. Hey, Artie, back from the dead, bitch. In the night of fabulousness and mayhem and possible death. Check, check. I'm not quite sure about the dead though. <laughs> the difference between Gen Z and millennials. I love the editing in this movie so much. Oh my God, this frame. This frame is like my favorite thing ever. I literally love it. Oh my God, the coloring. Well, I find it very difficult to say no to you sometimes. It's one of the things I love about you. Thanks. This guy's like, I'm telling you something I hate about myself and you're gonna tell me that you love me for it? No, no. I hardly thought you meant you wanted me to kill your only child. <laughs> I'm dying at this man being able to pull that. He's able to pull that because it's so ridiculous. Like, why? Why would she ever be like, kill a child? He can literally be like, I actually thought better of you. Um, that's awkward. Just a little miscommunication. My bad. <gasps> oh, I could do that all day. This woman does not realize that people are people and not literal NPCs in her life. Oh my God. One, it's her. Oh my God. Do they think she'd be- <laughs> Beg your pardon. Oh my God, that poor woman. Can you imagine thinking that Cruella would be the first one to arrive? Like, have they learned nothing? She clearly likes to make an entrance. Can't make an entrance if no one's there to see you yet. It's your worst nightmare. This must have been so much fun to film this scene. To be on set this day, it must have been amazing. I hate him. Did you though? <laughs> Artie is my life. Where is she? Didn't you just toast her death? <laughs> I love Anita. I love Anita. I know I just said Artie's my whole life, but Anita, oh my god, she's amazing. Oh my god, please. 
Okay. I genuinely thought she was about to like murder her with the little pin thing, like that Sherlock episode. Sit. Solid. It all makes sense now. Yeah. What? That you're so extraordinary. But she worked her ass off for this. It's not just like your bloodline. You don't get to take credit for her achievements here as if she didn't spend years making costumes for every single robbery they had planned. Like, you you don't get to take credit for that one. Me. Uh -huh. Your real mother. Bitch, you ain't mother to Dan your life. You made a mistake. And let something extraordinary go. Oh, that seems like a personal problem. Can I hug you? Oh God, don't trust her. Please, she's smarter than this. Don't trust her. Idiot. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> the security guards are my life. Oh my God. Did she just sacrifice herself to get some justice for her mother? You can't spin this one, they she saw jumped. it. No, you can't spin this. Oh, did you see, she jumped. <laughs> security guard is like, she did not jump. She did not jump. Before she died, Estella willed her fortune to her dear friend, Cruella de Vil. Oh, hell yes. I'll get even. Oh man, it's setting up for a sequel. Solid, solid. She was with her mother now. I'll take it from oh. here. Damn. I'm actually dead, mate. She's... <laughs> I know, but <laughs> technically she is dead. Oh, hell yes. Welcome home. She owns this. She owns this. I've got a few ideas. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yes, girl. Oh, oh my God. See, I'm kind of worried about the sequel, though, because if they go the same way, that's not promising. However, however, maybe this was like a retcon. It's a retcon to Cruella, and so maybe the 101 Dalmatians thing doesn't actually happen. Or the Baroness gets out of jail and does another smear campaign. I just really don't want to picture this Cruella killing puppies. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because I feel like this Cruella loves dogs. So I'm just, in my head, it's going to be a retcon gonna be a retcon. And at the beginning, didn't she say Roger never forgave her for him losing his job? So I feel like maybe, maybe he just, he wrote that as a story or something. I don't know. I just want to imagine that she didn't actually go on to kill puppies, you know what I mean? Oh, this is a vibe though. Oh, this makes me wanna go to London right now. I know they're probably setting up a sequel where she goes on to who she is in the 101 Dalmatians, although truly I do need to rewatch that because I have no recollection of what actually happens in that movie. But I feel like in my head, I'm just, I'm just gonna say she, she doesn't kill puppies. It was a PR smear campaign here and then maybe it's just Rogers story in the next one you know even though they're setting it up for a sequel we're just <laughs> we're just ignoring that we're ignoring that we're just ignoring it you know anyways i really really enjoyed that film i think emma stone just absolutely killed that i would say this is my absolute favorite disney live action film except for the fact that saying that out loud just made me realize that i haven't actually seen any of the other live action films i haven't even seen maleficent i just they haven't done that. I haven't really been interested in them, but this one, amazing. Emma Stone, incredible. All of these characters, I feel like were decently well written. I don't know. I just, I really, really enjoyed this film. Like a lot. But what did you guys think? Drop your thoughts in the comment box down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want more movie and fandom related content. I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.